Texas 95.7, the Armadillo Craig Vaughn in the studio. It's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Well, it is. It is here right now at this moment, Tuesday. Now, what Tuesday, 7 p.m. Yeah, on on the 16th. Right? Yes. <laughs> but that's like, I'm just giving you last week's show and a flash drive. So if you're listening to last week's show. <laughs> No, we're good. Yeah, we I had just a, don't know what day it is. We had a little technical <laughs> difficulty with the show last last week. So yeah. if you are listening tonight, uh, we could tell you that you can go on to our YouTube channel mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and listen to last week's show. That'll be up here pretty quick. So. It's also on our web page. Uh, well, yeah, well, we get to it from our – Yeah, there's from, a link. Yeah. yeah. From the WRCA.org, top right-hand corner, there's a YouTube link. Yeah. So. Along with uh, Facebook and Twitter, too, so you should be following all of them and get the app. There you go. We wrapped up the end of the show there, so it's, it's good having you. Too. <laughs> I mean, Twitter. Squeaker. Squeaker. That's, Squeaker. that's the dog's one, isn't it? Isn't that the dog? Oh, I just made it up, but we can start one. <laughs> you know, if there's not one for dogs, you, that'd be a good It'd one. It'd probably be a hit, wouldn't okay, it? Okay, we are trademarking Squeaker. As we, yeah. Now, get and online. everybody knows who said it first. Okay, they're going to take Yeah, I don't guess we can trademark it. I guess Casey has to trademark it. Anything happens with my photos. <laughs> Hey, you you get roll you get not roll these. <laughs> Dang it, that's the word I didn't want to use. You get photo credit. Yes, I do not. But that's okay. I don't yes. need photo credit. Uh, um, well, it's because you don't have social media, so you yeah. don't know if you get yeah. photo credit. Yeah, for all you know, every yeah, it checks in the mail. <laughs> All this time uh, doing this, my check's been sitting in the yeah, mail for a long, up, long time. Exactly. You take such good pictures. That's right. They're all accidental. <laughs> I've never taken a photo class in my life. Wall and Casey Hooper are here from the WRCA. I didn't get to that part yet. <laughs> there is two. That's a busy. Was a busy three three rodeo weekend for y'all. It's a very busy one. Actually, it's why I asked what day it was because I came in yesterday. Come in, came in hot. Lost a hubcap. Lost a hubcap. Yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> and for those of you listening, Oklahoma roads, wow. Yeah, you, everybody you, knows when you cross the border. <laughs> Oklahoma, Kansas roads, wow. Do not order chicken strips and try to dip in your gravy during there because it's going to piss you off. And you're just going to throw them out the window. <laughs> That's right. That is right. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you take little, little Highway 5 out of Warica. Uh, don't don't drive at night and slow down. <laughs> so, <tidbit. laughs> yeah, we got three rodeos to get through. This is gonna be fun. Uh, uh, I guess what the first one was. We said this off the air, and I should already know this. It was the Warica, right? Yep, Warica yeah. Chamber of Commerce. Yep. That's a two night rodeo. Uh, Friday and Saturday, they have two sep- two different sets of ranches. Okay. Yep. We've talked about that yep. format before. Yep. So one one go per ranch, but you got a different set on Friday, different set on Saturday. Warica, cool little place. If yeah. you've never been, you know, just one of them nice little small towns, and they've got an arena setting out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> uh, really cool with the lights they've got out there. It's kind of like when you're driving in to a small town on Friday night in the fall, yeah. and you're seeing you know the football yep. lights. Yeah. Same thing when you're driving up to that place. You know when it's when the lights are on and everything is just kind of out in the middle. You drive, it's you pretty drive cool. Up to that place and then it drops down and he said it's a really cool place. Actually, it's probably the hottest place outside Coffeeville on Earth. <laughs> Be surprised this go round <laughs> when when the lights uh, when the sun went down, it was nice yeah. in Warwick, Oklahoma. Yeah. I mean, it was nice. Yeah. This was Saturday, right? Friday and Saturday. Oh, Friday and Saturday. Okay, so yeah. both would I guess you had good weather both nights. Huh? Oh, it was perfect. That's good. It was perfect there. Yeah, we which were, would we be the blessed. first first rodeo we've had outside of Claremore because it's indoors that it did not rain, lightning, storm <laughs> for all weekend for for all three rodeos. So. Mm. No, it was good. It was good. Very competitive, you know, with that many ranches there. Uh, it, it's pretty crazy. And going after Friday night in the standings, we had a ranch that was leading slash W cattle. They were leading that rodeo after Friday, and then. Come into Saturday, you know, everybody's thinking, wow, are they going to be able to, you know, to pass those guys up? Mm-hmm. And actually had two ranches step in front of them. So the Thompson Ranch out of Monday, Texas, ended up and won the rodeo. And we'll be talking to Tyler here in just a little bit. And then 
3B cattle and Affinity cattle came in second, and Slash W cattle came in third, and then Burns Ranch came in fourth. So that was our overall placings there. Uh, very tight. I think it was like two, only separated by three points. Yeah. Three points. Then three points and two points. And two between for second and third. Mm. And so we'll talk. We'll talk to to Tyler a little bit about about their rodeo, and then let's knock out some of the individual stuff for Warica. Very cool situation here. Hometown boy there in Warica, Robert Forrest with Stewart Ranch, uh, kind of world known for the horse flesh that they produce out there. He was riding uh, an 11 year old gelding 7S crazy horse. Uh, had one of those war bridles, Casey on, just oh, like, cool. like Buster uses. Pretty cool pony. 7S crazy horse. So thanks to AQHA for supporting our top horse program. Then another really cool deal Quincy Carlton from Slash W won the top hand. Casey, I'm not sure on Quincy's age. Do you remember how old Quincy is now? I could be lying. I think he's about 20 now, maybe. But Still kind of a young man. Yes, you he, know? he always will end up being like eight years old to me. But, <laughs> um, mm. Excellent. Very, very yeah. handy. He, he very much deserved yeah. that award. He he just competed in everything and roped his tail end off, did a great yeah. job, and got rewarded for it. And I know he, he was really excited. So that's our uh, Warica Rodeo, Thompson Ranch 1. Uh, Robert Forrest from Stewart Ranch Top Horse and Quincy Carlton from Slash W was top hand. Yep. If you're going to win top horse or top hand at that rodeo, I'm looking at the ranches that were involved, and that was quite the honor. That's I'd hate to be the... Tough competition up there. Yes, yeah. and everyone is well-deserving, and so I'd hate to be the judges. Mm. Actually, for all three rodeos, it right. was tough. Yeah. Want to get Tyler on the phone then? Let's do it. All right. There we go. We got him on the phone. <laughs> Tyler, congratulations. I guess you're out celebrating. Choo choo. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if you'd call it that, but but, but uh, we are on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Boston, you really are on a trip. <laughs> we, yeah, I am. We're sitting in the train station here in Boston. That's crazy. I yeah. think it's neat. Yeah. That's something. When when Warica. Drive home. Well, actually, <laughs> Tyler, you just won Warico. What are you going to do? Yeah, this boy's been. Let's <laughs> even start before that, Tyler. I understand you didn't drive straight from Monday, Texas to Warica. You had a little diversion before. That, that that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So they're on world travelers. So where <laughs> where we, were y'all? We are. We're, we're headed to New York here in just about an hour. So from Boston. Good for you. Yeah. So world traveler yeah. here. Hey, so <laughs> exactly. I got a question for you. So we weren't live and Tyler and I are catching up. We go live and now you taking up all the airtime. What's I'm up sorry. with that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll I'll just sit here and Jeez. Wait, who went? Doodle. Who went? I'm going to doodle. <laughs> Leaming out. <laughs> Tyler, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm going to try to wrap it, it everybody back. While it took us a while to win that one. Mm. I know, huh? <laughs> yeah. And it was tough. years, I think. Wow. Yeah. I think you only yeah. guys pulled it off by three. Three, three points. Three points. Yeah. And, yeah. In fact, they told me going into the last event, I didn't know this, uh, the team that was second was at 3B. Is that yes. right? Yes, sir. They were a point ahead of us going into the branding. So. I mean, I've seen a lot of things so. come down. I've seen a lot of things right. change yeah. on so, quickly. So. I'll be dang. But it, uh, yeah, but it, we we had a good branding run. We didn't realize it was that close, but uh, but it, the, the, all, I think all top four were pretty close the way it sounds. It was. It went like three points, and then between second and third, it was two points. Right. And then third and fourth looked like three points. Is that correct? Am I, right. look, am I New Mexico doing her math right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. I don't know why I'm asking a Texan, but that's all right. <laughs> Two Texans. She, she's, Texans. She's using all our fingers right now. <laughs> mm. Is the two day? Do you like those that that format, Tyler? Where they where they launch them on Friday and then put a whole another set out there on Saturday? You like that format, or you like them all better on okay. one day? I, I like the two day. I like it where you go both days better. But the the thing is with the 
the two day format with different teams, usually mm-hmm. you have more money in the rodeo mm-hmm. to go the same teams two days in a row. You got to up the entry fee to keep the money. So, so uh, I like the two day better, but I understand why they don't don't a lot of them don't do it. So he likes the two days better because one year, a couple years ago in Alpine. <laughs> Thompson came out and put a licking on everybody, right? On Friday night. We didn't even have to have a rodeo on Saturday. <laughs> that's how well that, they that, went. And so that, that's right. That's yeah. right. We're yeah, we were wanting to stop it right then. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else was like, Oh, we can't wait till Saturday. Maybe we can gain some yeah. ground. <laughs> but it was but it you, was too you, far gone at that point. <laughs> you can you can ask. It, it, I guess it always depends on how you're doing. It, it, which sure. format you like? You know, if you, yeah. the first night's not good, you 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 want the two day format. Yeah. So, but if you do real good, you you want it to end. So, well, yeah, because yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. I think uh, oh, quite a while back, I remember at Roaring Springs, I'd asked you how you like that. How because he does it the same way as yeah. Warwick and Haskell, and he goes, "I like this format." Well, I bet you do. So it all changes. <laughs> it does. Uh, it uh, you know, it just depends on it. Really, it depends on where you're going. If it's a long drive, you it, you you hate to drive that far for just one round. But, yes. But, uh, but anyway, we do. We like the two day format to where to where you you know it's uh, the one day format. Usually, you bobble once and you're done. So uh, yeah. Uh, but the two day, you you have a little leeway there. But takes the pressure. You know, you can exactly it takes yeah. the pressure yeah. off, and, and it is a sore feeling on that first event. And you do stub your toe, then you're like, Oh gosh, we've got a lot of making up to do. And it sometimes starts exactly with the right. bronc riding. And the bronc rider's that's like, it. Oh my gosh, here we go. And he gets bucked <laughs> off, and he's like, I'm leaving. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and they're like, Get out and, there. <laughs> it's many, is is there's so many good teams today. That's right, the, the one round format. You you stump your toe and it's usually your ear done. Mm. So yeah, so it's it's so hard when you're sitting there watching, and even you know I don't necessarily keep score, but I'm trying to jot right. down times and stuff just mm-hmm. to get an idea. And I tell you, Tyler, I mean, you, you guys were fourth in the bronc riding, so you mm-hmm. kind of sitting there right where you need to be. Milking didn't go so well for you, kind of. It kind of dropped down I think on we that deal. Tenth, we got one point in the milk. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say exactly what you did, but you, you brought that up. He's going to own up to it. We, owned, <laughs> owned up we, to we it. were a thirty-seven in tenth, so <laughs> it was a tough milking. Well, I tell you, it was. It was really tough. Yes. And then as the rest of the rodeo went, you guys just really started making the move that you needed to make. Uh, yes, sir. Sor- sorting was yes. again really tight, and yes. you guys had a, a great time, great run. Uh, came in about you know middle of that pack there sixth place, and then you just turned it on with with Doctor and Brandon came out second right. in both of those. So it, it's really interesting. You're just sitting there watching and you're thinking, okay, you know, is Thompson in this? Deal? Well, yeah, they're in it. So are another you know six other ranches, and then you you just flip the switch and Doctor and Brandon, you just took over. You, you know, as well as we finished, I really felt like we may have won it by more than that. But as well as we finished, it was still that you know a three point, three points. It was a it was a tough rodeo. Yeah, it was. It was. Yes. Yeah. It was fun. It was. it was. It was a good competition, and uh, yes. it's all, always good competition whenever you guys show up. And we just congratulations to you and your family and everybody there. Uh, how many times, t- Tyler? Do you you know off the top of your head how many times y'all have competed at the World Championship? And uh, a lady from WRCA called me yesterday and asked me a few questions. And I told her I thought nine, but I told her I could be one off either direction. You know, does that so, sound right, Casey? So. Yes, it does sound right. I was going to – Yes. I, I mean, he's pretty well spot on. I mean – Right. So yeah. – but it, to them on Thompson Ranch, you know, they come here with a new start, a new time when they get here. And it starts over. Yep. And we're just appreciative of the longevity – and your all's name and and how far it's come to show us support and so thank you yeah. and please relay that to the family and tell your mother we said hi please please tell Cindy we said I, hi I, I, I sure will she, she got she got to go the night to worry because she, she was there good. So, uh, but I, I will sure tell her and and, we, and that's one thing we enjoy coming every year good well thank you so that much Tyler and kudos mm-hmm. to all the guys you bet. Thank you. And you y'all bet. be careful. Have yeah. fun up there in, 
in Boston. Boston. <laughs> Boston. See, I'll have Boston to tell. <laughs> I'll have to tell you my uh, subway story off the air because it could get kind of radical. But we'll compare notes out of New York. Yeah. Yeah, I went. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I walked in the bathroom a while ago, and there was a guy wearing a dress, blow drying his hair under the hand dryer. So. Was it Bruce Jenner? So, uh, or were you, can, were you in the right exactly, bathroom? Exactly. Or up there, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> exactly. And everybody in there thought it was normal, and I'm yeah. sitting there staring at him. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> it's okay to get the five second stare. It's okay. You don't it see does. you don't it see is. that in Monday, Texas. <laughs> no, no, and I hope not to. <laughs> 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 Tyler, we'll see you, bud. Take care. Uh, thanks, you Tyler. Bet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> no, I'm not sure who's getting, who's having more fun on that trip, Tyler or the people watching Tyler. <laughs> well, I've been on that receiving other side where Tyler's standing uh-huh. when I went to New York City, and it's actually quite fun on that on I this bet. side, yeah. Yeah. on the side of the person <laughs> going for the first time. <laughs> if anybody ever travels to New York City. And you happen to get maybe pulled over by the local law enforcement. Just name drop Casey Hooper. Yeah. And you'll be like, oh, yeah. my amigo from New Mexico. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell her hi and see you. They won't even arrest That's you. Right. That's True right. True story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the men in black come and get you. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Hooper is a local legend in New York City. I am. Broadway and uh, I think it was Madison. That mm. was where it all took place. <laughs> it was, Craig's just shaking his head like, well, they let you go. They sure did. <laughs> Loved it. Mm. Uh, rodeo number two was uh, the Nebraska Invitational it at was. Sand Hills. It was. It was still at Sand Hills, and we'll talk We're in, in Nebraska. A yep. We had two rodeos in Nebraska. Yeah. So how'd that one go? Who's got the results on that? It went fabulous. It went fabulous. Fabulous. It was actually a very tough little rodeo. We ended up have, having to have a tie at the end of the results between uh, tie for first and 4-3 landing cattle and FX bar out of Lusk, Wyoming, ended up pulling through with that rodeo. And so we were pleased to pull someone down from the northern country to represent yeah. that, to come down here to the championship. This is not the first time that F, uh, 4-3 is qualified, but I will tell you I have the utmost respect for that team. Chris Lockhammer has been the bronc rider for them for quite some time. And I'm, and I'm just going to say it. He can wrestle me, get dirt in the skirt later. But he is running close on 44 years old, and he put a bronc stomp on all those kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying kids because there's um, some others that ride the bronx, but that are not 20. Mm-hmm. But Chris does it old school way, and uh, it's pretty darn cool. 79 points. Yeah. He smashed one out. Yeah, he did. So we had 4-3 FX Bar won it. Second was Buck Creek, Broken H. Third was Snyder XIT. Fourth was J-O-D and Brown Mill. And I want to talk about that Snyder XIT. You know, they ended up third on Sunday as well. And so they were, and then they've been second in the last couple. So they've been really, really kind of the bridesmaids, and they're hungry. They're hungry. But it was, uh, I'm trying to put it all into perspective. You know, they, <laughs> where you pull into Nebraska, when they say the rolling hills of the sand hills, it really is not even, uh, it's pretty spot on. I mean, I'm a loss for words when you pull into that country because it's very pretty. And when it looks good and as flush and lush as it looks right now, you do not want to come back. So, Lehman, it's a good thing I drove back. <laughs> Just it's saying. It's a beautiful country. There's no, no doubt. It's one of those rare occasions where you actually have a chance to enter two rodeos in the same weekend. Yeah, they're then. two separate rodeos. Yeah. Two you, separate I mean, it's like kind of a rare, it's probably the only time, right, that, that yes. as a team you could, unless you really could – Maybe drove overnight from us, from a, but there's really not a. We don't have another one this year. Like not like this, like right? This, yeah, it's kind of a sure. rare opportunity for some of those guys, I guess. Right. So, and hopefully. it's considered its own entity. So once Saturday was done, it was in the books, and it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. And then we started it fresh and on next. So a rare you. Sunday rodeo. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. All the teams enjoyed it. The stock was fabulous. And when I when we go in and talk to Dustin on Sunday for the Sand Hill Championship, remind me to bring up the heifers in the straight gathering, and it'll all add up here in a minute. But um, everyone, we really enjoyed, and kudos to the Haythorn land and cattle because they provided all the stock. And once again, Wade Kramer had the rough stock, and it was spot on. That little community, when you pull into Arthur, it's about the size of Goodnight, maybe. Well, okay. It's not very big at all. Mm. But they had a very good community involvement. And they had the best snow cones. Yes, <laughs> I will say it. You didn't bring one home for Lehman? Not strawberry pie. <laughs> strawberry daiquiri flavored. <laughs> So we had, make your own, huh? Yes. I got you. <laughs> so I told you what first and first, first through fourth were, but the top hand was Sage Hay, Haythorn, and then Cliff Hall was top horse. And I do not have his whole thing on that buckskin, Lehman. Do you? It, it's the genuine boot scooter. Uh, he won top horse with this same horse at Council Grove. Yes, sir. Casey, I believe. Yep. Yes. Sweet little buckskin. You know, Cliff never rides anything that's just not pretty, um, well, how would I put it? Uh, you say flesh, and that just makes me hungry. I don't know why. <laughs> but he's very mounted all the way through. Actually, all these cats at this rodeo were mounted. J.D. Williams on F, uh, 4.3 FX Bar was riding a bay horse that was pretty darn cool. So anybody could have... Rolled the dice on that, but that buckskin that Cliff was riding won the prize, and and rightfully so. Rightfully so. We we actually are not going to interview anybody on this particular. The four three FX bar guys are branding this morning uh, up in Wyoming, and and they just asked, <laughs> being gone to the rodeo, <laughs> they needed to get back to work. So. We will be visiting with them next totally week. Totally understandable. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They call it the working ranch, Cowboys. Yes, yep. that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Craig, so. for adding that because that is very, very true. Mm -hmm. It's not that they didn't – it's not J.D. or Chris or nobody didn't want to talk on the radio, but <laughs> – Either that or they didn't, and that's what they told us. But actually, I did talk to I did talk to JD, and that they were going to be pretty. Tell them, up. tell them all those that don't come on the air with us during the year. We actually have them back in the studio where we film it live later on in November. Yeah, <laughs> but they, you know, they could be sitting on the porch drinking you, coffee, yeah, exactly. making fun of us this morning. I don't know, but, I doubt it. But but we're <laughs> we're we're giving four three the kudos here, which rightfully so. But they were tied for first. With Buck Creek and Broken H, and they did pretty darn good. So Cliff Hall is actually on that team, and so I just wanted to say they had a good rodeo as well. It mm -hmm. came down to a tiebreaker, but so both teams verbally need a big congrats on that. But 4-3 won the invite. Cool. And then the other one, I guess, was uh, same place, same arena, I guess, and everything just the next day, huh? Do you have to tear down for any of that to set well, up, or do you have to take banners down you or anything have like to that? Take it's the just sand out of your pockets because it's so dang deep there. <laughs> I told Craig, my God, my hip is bothering me now, but I'm legged up. <laughs> Shoes. There's a lot of sand, <laughs> sand hills, right? But yep. no, we just show up again. Just show up again, and Craig's looking at me laughing. <laughs> yeah, Casey told a dad joke. Get it? Sand hills, sand, sand. <laughs> <laughs> How was how was that one then? Is it a completely different crew? How many teams did you have from from Saturday competing Sunday? Do you know offhand? Is it oh, three offhand? or four? Or no, no, we had just like uh, one or two. Or well, now you put me on the spot. Sorry, should ask you. No, off no, here. that's okay. We ended up with uh, twelve teams on Saturday. Saturday, and we came back with. Fifteen, fifteen teams came on. On Sunday. Sunday, so five or six are yeah. from Saturday. So they yeah. five or six yes. had two rodeo, two chances. I guess that's you know kind of fumbled my words. Anyway, said it's kind of like a went. unique kind of thing. So it is. How'd that one go then? Okay, so now we're rolling into Sunday, and that's who we're gonna give a call out to to Dustin Bowling. So Jolly SNL won that rodeo, followed by Jod Ranch and Brown Mill, and then third Beechner Brothers. So I stand corrected. I said that it was Snyder XAT, but 
Beechner Brothers Livestock was in third, and then Schaefer Barda ended up fourth. And then Lehman's pointing his finger on me here to <laughs> just go they ahead. List, they, they list it out all the way to fifth on their uh, score sheet. And so it just has the Haythorn and the JH Minor was the fifth place team. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going off the payout. I'm sorry. I was reading down below. Boy, I tell you what, I couldn't put my socks on without messing up. <laughs> well, they have sand in them. <laughs> they have sand. I have sand in my pockets, which means I have sand in other places. <laughs> in lots of places. <laughs> Lehman, why'd you open that door? <laughs> I'm closing that door. We're, we don't talk about, we don't need to talk about sand. And Should we call Dustin? Stuff. Well, I want to tell you real quick. So, nope. Will Schaefer. <laughs> <laughs> She's not done with the sand. It's your fault, Lehman. <laughs> Will Schaefer ended up getting top hand honors. For Sunday, Top Horse was ridden and owned by Corey Rickard off of Snyder XIT. And I can't read Lehman's writing. Uh, you go want me for to read it. That? Yeah, you It is kind of an odd <laughs> you uh, do the name. Moo? Voo, voodoo. Oh, well, see, see what voodoo I mean? the moo. Voodoo the moo. <laughs> somebody was drinking something strange whenever they named that name, cult. Named the horse well, there's Voodoo a names the Moo. I think everyone's but he's no laughing joke. Um that horse is pretty darn slick so that's pretty cool yeah voodoo the moo all right that might be uh the hello kitty of this year so what's the kitty one that last year we had one it was like a hello kitty um, yeah what was uh, something mrs kitty because you guys just read it off like it was nothing and i look at you like what you're not how do you so they get on me about <laughs> random off the cuff and start circling me back but they, <laughs> you two have we no want to play to too. <laughs> Let's call Dustin. <laughs> does he know we're calling? I think he does. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. And there we go. We got him on the phone to save the day, to save the he sand talk. The <laughs> he is. You have no idea the conversation before we got you on the phone, Dustin. <laughs> Dustin always saves the day. I know if you ask. I can only imagine. No, you do. You save the day. When I see you, I feel things are going to be better. But we have this warp. Dustin and I have this warp way of just kind of, it's this weird connection we've got. Yeah, it's the green chili and the mushrooms from Colorado, New Mexico thing. It's great. People listening, yeah, they're the probably like, what in the heck? Yeah. yeah, it's funny. Well, Dustin, congrats, man. I know. Thank you very much. Appreciate you bet. It. And they like to come out and seal the deal early, and now, but they're going to go on to encampment and still compete. And this team is tough. When they're on, they're on. And the, you ended up winning three events. Is that right? Uh, yes, ma'am. We did. So the yeah. stray gathering, the sorting, and the bronc riding. And when you come out like that, kind of like Tyler Thompson, we'd interviewed him before, and he was saying these one day deals are kind of tricky. If you stub your toe early, it could totally throw things off. But you guys stayed consistent. Very first, you know, they were on it. So kudos. Right, and, and, I, and I think the, the first event always kind of sets the tone, um, whether it's good or bad. Yeah, for sure. A, a bad event doesn't ever necessarily take you out of the whole rodeo, but you'd like to start off on the right foot and just kind of keep the momentum going. Well, you're saying starting out on the right foot. You... So we get we started with branding, but then we got to the stray gathering. Wasn't that interesting? Those heifers did give everyone a challenge. It was a very consistent set, <laughs> but they were waspy, weren't they? Not Dustin. Uh, yeah, there were some some <laughs> fresher uh, Coriani heifers, and and like we talked earlier, the rainy conditions were deep. Uh, just deep. It was just deep sand, and it was kind of hard for those horses to get some momentum but uh which in turn kind of made that event a little challenging but it did we, make it uh, challenging prevailed. it did because when they would nod and they would take off that sand got deep at the middle mm. and those horses were logging out you know trying mm -hmm. to get there and they'd get their spot get ready to sling especially the healer side and that heifer would just have a you know a woman moment i'll admit it <laughs> And say, no, not today, and switch up. It was like trying to rope snakes. <laughs> That's what it looked like right, to me. Yeah. <laughs> rope snakes. <laughs> well, it was. Their back end was just slithering behind. You'd see a guy get a shot, and then it was like, forget that idea. <laughs> 
And then in the in the sorting, I mean it people didn't realize that event in Arthur was pretty tough. I mean it was uh those cattle were fresh too and they they gave a challenge to them. Right, for sure, uh Casey uh and that arena it's a big arena um and they don't cut it down at all so you have the whole width of the arena to to cover and and deep ground which is good for working your horse cuz gives them better support but uh yeah, those heifers were fresh, and they wanted to get hot and tired and didn't it, really want to co- cooperate. But And Will, I mean, he didn't have it easy in the bronc ride, and Wade brought some pretty good buckers. So it was an even set. I think kudos to the people, uh, well, Haythorns and, and Wade Kramer supplying the stock because it was pretty even. I mean, it was, uh, yeah, it was very even. Sure. Everyone got an even start. But kudos to you guys, and I think... If my math is correct, so Jolly SNL had 40 total, and then JD or JOD and Brown Mill, Kenny Yoder and those guys had seven points spread there. So you can thank Jolly for winning the stray gathering, winning the sorting, and hitting it off in the bronc ride and kind of capped that pop. Yeah, you know what I mean? It kind of copped it. Get, yeah. mm-hmm. So they were happy. They were happy. And I just want to say thank you guys for. Sticking with it and welcome board the crazy train Good. again. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you very much. You yeah, bet. we uh, we can kind of keep track in our in our heads too as we're going along, and we knew JLD was having a great rodeo too, and and uh, we knew it came down to the cow milk and to, to yes. decide who was going to get to go to Amarillo, and and uh, thank God we didn't. Yeah. Stub our toe. Yeah. That's right. And literally, you didn't have time to stub your toe because it was still <laughs> sunk down in the dirt <laughs> or in the sand, excuse me. And the more you went on it, the deeper it got. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The more you worked that arena up, yeah. the, the looser it got and the deeper it got. It did get deep. Well, thank you, Dustin. Please uh, tell Jesse and Kyle and everybody thanks and congrats. And thank you for being available to talk to us this morning, buddy. Yeah, not a problem at all. And, see you uh, in encampment. Can't wait to see you guys in Amarillo. You bet, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Dustin. See you, Dustin. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so, well, that takes care of last weekend's three rodeos. Uh, got an easier weekend this weekend for you all? With just, uh, just one? Yeah, just kind of back to normal. Yeah. We've got yeah. Mead, Kansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be going on. Our president, Randy Norris, will, he and his wife, Carla, will be making that trip. So we'll be... We'll be staying close to the vest mm-hmm. here at the office and all that. But, yeah, Dale Shell and, and his crew up there in Mead, Kansas, they put on a great rodeo. Kind of a broken record. We talk about all of them being good yeah. because they are. <laughs> good good people, great competition, and, and little good small towns. So uh, I've be not actually tough. been to that one, Casey, yet. But from all the reports I've ever gotten, you know, it's just like the rest of them, real yeah. tough. Yeah, good deal. That's a, and that's a two day, nineteenth and twentieth, right? Friday and Saturday. Yes. Yep. And is that the two day with the first set of teams and the second set of that's teams, or is it? Okay. Yep. Those will right. be the same uh, two day rodeo. Okay, same gotcha. Rodeo. Yeah. Yeah. Same teams, two goes. Yeah, gotcha. So not like the one we talked about earlier, basically. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. All right. Well, uh, website. Oh, wait, uh, Oliver's has their three-in-one. We'll throw a little plug out there for Oliver's. I think they're uh, still accepting some teams there. Yeah, it's not this weekend. It's the next. Yep. It's the 27th. That's Same right. Same day as we have Encampment, Wyoming. Yep. And uh, that'll be that'll be down at Range Riders Rodeo Arena. So, uh, again, if you're – I still, like, even on the air during in between songs when we're talking about it, it's still a great one to go check out if you've never been to any of the working ranch cowboy stuff and don't know anything about the rodeo and – so you got to pen one, doctor one, and sort and uh, tie one down. So it's just kind of get a, a little bit of entertainment too, just to watch those guys kind of try to try to get in the heads of three cows who are trying to do their own thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is really fun. Yeah, and and thanks to Richard and uh, the the uh, the whole family there mm-hmm. in Oliver Saddle Shop yeah. really for their support. They they wanted to do that back whenever they had their hundredth anniversary celebration mm-hmm. as a way to. Kind of celebrate, and then they decided, heck, it was so much fun. Yeah, let's keep doing yeah. it, and and guys have really appreciated having it here in the Amarillo community. And it's and, a, and they all give their proceeds as a uh, donation to our foundation, which, which is, we yeah, greatly appreciate yeah. that support. 
Uh, it's also the day of the Cowboys, so there's stuff going on at the at the Quarter Horse Museum and everything going on. We can take the kids out there, and, and the kids will enjoy a lot of the festivities going out there also. So Yeah, and we saw that last year where people would go to the Quarter Horse Museum and take part in all those things and then bring the family out yeah. to Oliver's. And that's just a good, fun day, yeah. so look at look up. Come see us. Yep. Yeah, you can find them on Facebook if you need more information. Look up Oliver Saddle on there. They've got a an event for the three and one website wrca.org. Don't forget to get on there and check out if you haven't seen the uh, teaser for the movie that they're gonna premiere down here. Uh, the documentary movie, uh, Cowboys documentary portrait. Uh, that'll be th- at three o'clock on Saturday, November 9th. Uh, if you haven't seen the teaser for that, that that's on the WRCA.org. Uh, really, really neat. Uh, it's a good place to get your tickets. There's a link on there, and it's a good place to get uh, hotel, hotel, and events, and hotel, yeah. hotel, yep. Holiday Inn. <laughs> it's, all, it's all on there. Yep. It's all on there. WRCA.org. So links and everything to the social media, and download the free app too while you're at it. So. Just search WRCA wherever you get your apps from. Craig, if you keep on at this job, you might get good at it. I might. I might. might I might.